the boxing is all about time and distance coordination, mobility, flexibility, agility, rhythm. But if you've got someone to sit down and explain it to you, because when I was at school, if I didn't know the answer, she used to say, you know, more or less you tick, you're stupid. And I think everybody's good at something, but what you've got to do is spend the time with them. So I, I sit down here and I go through everything as best I can of what I know, and hopefully they're going to do something with themselves. You know, I think it's fast twitch muscles, a fast start circuit, you know, uh, iron the heart rate, imitating like what you see, you know, you're having a fight, so getting that heart rate up, having, it, having like 30 seconds to recover while the next guy does their set and uh, then we we'll march on, so it's a good Monday morning start. We don't do camps in this gym. We've got to be a full-time professional. You know, we don't go in and out of, you know, we don't do, you know, 12 week camps and then you go missing for six weeks. This is a full-time job. Remember our Tom and Jerry? That was a fire truck. Tom, Tom, Tom was the best. No, no chat shit, no nothing, they just had a flu. See each other. This morning what they've done Chris is, it's just a general uh, group workout, bit of circuit work, bit of steppers, um, it's, it's tick over stuff basically, um, nobody really in here has got a fight, so we changed the routine where they can all train in together, generally when people have got a fight it's more into individualised training, so it's just to, we'll do, this week we'll do this on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it just keeps them uh, ticking over, usually we do treadmill running, and you're not really hitting the surface there, but this is like groundwork, proper stuff. Uh, your feet are on the ground. Well, we've been in the gym this morning, trained this morning. Um, it's good to be back in Sheffield. We went for a nice coffee, got a bit of porridge. When you're on a diet, really, it's the only thing you can the only thing you can drink and enjoy it, do you know what I mean? There's a coffee, so that's probably why boxers drink so much coffee. Being a pro boxer, it's not a, I'll work to Monday, Friday, then I'll go with all lads and have a good time all over the weekend. It's a 24-7 job. It's When you're a professional boxer, you've got to make yourself into an athlete, really. It's a 24-7 job. You've got... It's stupid, but you've got to be all for yourself. You've got to you've got to do what you need to do to become champion. I mean, I started boxing when I was nine years old. Um, I'm only 21 now. I've boxed for 12 years, um, and you've got to do the best for what's for you. And obviously, to do that, you've got to stay in the gym and you've got to keep training and staying dedicated. And that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and now, since I'm here and I moved here, that will be me here. 24/7 now, and hopefully I don't leave the gym, and that's it. Just staying to keep I keep on that grind. Feeling good, a small bit higher now because like, starting off, you're relaxed Saturday, you're relaxed Sunday, and then boom, you hit you hit Monday like that. You're gonna you're gonna be a bit higher, but this is what you need to learn after you become professional. That the recovery and the rest is more important than any of the training, you know. So once you get your rest right, then you're able to train two and three times a day. But it's just finding the exact lovely thing to do it with the rest, the food. The training, how, when to be awake, when to be going for a walk, when to be lying down. It's, it's a fine art that I'm still trying to learn, but being around all these guys, you learn a lot faster than what you should like by yourself, you know. So it's really good enough. So going well, thank God. So now it's time to get bashed up in the ring. Today, mate, we're going to be in, um, we're in here at 4 o'clock doing body sparring. A lot of us going to be doing body sparring. Um, some will be working out on pads. But um, that's today's schedule. Like, Tom, Tom, all of us are scheduled day by day what to do. Just swing sparring and 
you learn, especially getting into the ring with some of the best guys here in the world, you, you, you learn off them. That's what it's all about, being in the ring learning. The best I just place you've ever been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> come back to my mom. My mom here. Yeah, I don't know, it's more than a gym here. It's very special. It's like family. Even when I'm home, I just want to come back and get on with everybody and train together. It's really good. You know, we are one uh, group of, it's like family. You know, it's just like family here. I know we're all gym mates. We're all very competitive. Obviously, we, we fight as we champions, you know. So, um, surprising. A law we might never even say anything to each other. If I'm on the pads and Dom's got the two of us on the pads, then I'm thinking, I'm not quitting before this guy. No fucking way. Um, or like if I'm running with someone, I'm not stopping before them, you know. Um, a law we don't say to each other, let's have a competition. You know there's always that thing there and you're always watching and uh, just there's always that uh, competition which is never arranged, you know. Jab, jab, right, jab, jab, double jab, the right and left up. Jab, 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 right. A big money fight, money, yeah. No, so you can buy kids presents for Christmas and that for a long time. That's why you're holding camera, we need, we need to get paid, don't we? And obviously, I've got much more to give. And uh, I want to have one of them fights where, I want to have the calm fights, you know, where just giving back to the fans, basically. And for myself, you know, that the fear factor, adrenaline and the excitement, I, I think that would be the biggest fight out there for me. To pump, pump blood down the system. Yeah, the highest bidder gets to rent it. So I'm going to be too high. Uh, he, he said, he said 600. He said 600. How much you want? No worries. No worries. Yeah. I'm going to keep it vacant. I'm going to keep it vacant. He wakes up every day and different moves, Leo. We don't hold no prisons in this shit. When you get in there, you've got to be ready. And if you don't, you're going to get it. And if you're looking for someone, if you want to be successful, you've got to look even more successful, in it. And then you go and say, alright then, let me see, okay, I'll... Like for me, when, when I was in this gym, I said, alright, who, you know, like for instance, it was Kel, Johnny, you know, and I said, alright then, what does he do so good? And I speak things off him. Of Kel, Johnny, Johnny, you know, whoever was the top kid in the gym at the time, I used to pick up one or two things off them. And that's how you, that's how you learn it. Thank you very much, you've been a fantastic crowd. Yes! We're in here. Number one. Dream team Number back one. together. Team yeah. back up. The one thing I try and explain to them is that, you know, they call themselves professional boxers. And they're in a very, very lucky position where, in a fight, they can earn, from a 12 week training camp, they can earn a, a, a year's wage of a normal man, even more, you know, 30, 40, 50 grand in a 12 week training camp. Uh, don't abuse that position, you know, look after yourself, be a professional, take it as a 9 till 5 job, not something where you train for a camp for 12 weeks and then have 12 weeks off and then start again, build and build and build and this is what I've tried to explain to, to Liam and since he came on board with me, he's still that, that kind of attitude on board and his momentum has been very good in his last four fights and I've said to him, he's only 27, if you want to get to the top, this is what you've got to do, there's no off days, you can, have a, you can hold bike and have a bit of a rest but there's no weeks out of the gym, it's, it's, it's your profession, you've only got limited time, you might be finished in five years time, so put your investment in now and it will pay off down the line. Kel Brook has been in this gym since nine years old, he's now 33. 
He lives in a million pound house, he's got a big car, he's got plenty of money. He's had a good career. It could have, it could have been better, but injuries and things going wrong, he's made the best out of what he's got because he was brought up in this environment with this, what can I say, uh, ethos and the attitude that you train every day. You know what I mean? And, you know, he's, one, he's probably the hardest training in this gym. He's gone through hell and high tide to get where he's got. And that's how we measure the people. We measure, we measure them against Kel Brook. Before that, we measured them against Johnny Nelson. Before that, we measured them against, against Nazim Ahmed. So you have, a, you have a, a mental mark of where people should be. And if they can hit that mark, if they can train like Kel Brook, Johnny Nelson, Junior, which are Nazim Ahmed, you know they can be world champions. If they can't hit that mark, then they're going to do all right, but they probably haven't got what it takes to go into the trenches and win a world title fight.